Hi there. This video talks about setting up a room in the STEM Audio ecosystem. So once you've installed all of your devices, the only thing that's left to do is to set up the room on the actual platform. So the first step of accessing the platform is deciding how you want to do that. There's many ways to access the STEM Audio platform. The first is just using our controller. If you don't have our controller, you can always use any type of tablet or iPad, whether it's iOS, Android, or Windows. And your last option is also just to access through HTML. So this is gonna be through opening any web browser on a computer. All you have to do is just punch in the IP address of any of your STEM audio endpoints, and that will gain you access into the STEM audio ecosystem. So once you've gained access, the first step is gonna to be to go ahead and select the top right button, which says ecosystem. Once you click on ecosystem, go ahead and select rooms, which is gonna be the button all the way to the left. Now you're on the rooms screen, and this will show you all of the rooms in your organization. Since we're adding in a new room, go ahead and click on that add room button that's all the way on the bottom of your display. Name that room and click done. Now you have a room, it's got a name, it needs devices. So you see that big gray field, that's gonna show us all of our devices, right now it's empty. Right below it, there's a button that says add device. When I click on add device, you're gonna see a drop down menu of all of the STEM devices in your organization. The unassigned devices, meaning the devices that I just plugged into my network, are always gonna be all the way in the top of the list. So go ahead and select the devices you wanna bring into your room. Uh, also note that you can do more than one device at a time. So I can highlight all of the devices that I wanna bring into the room. And then when I'm done, I just click on that check mark all the way in the bottom right. Technically speaking, we're done. The room is ready to go. It's working. You don't need to do anything else. However, I recommend once you're done with this part, always click on Room Adapt. What Room Adapt does is it basically lets all the devices play this chirping sound. They test the room, they test themselves, they learn the acoustics of the room, and they self-adjust themselves to where you place them into the room's acoustics. You can also do room check, which is the button right next to it. And what that's gonna do is it's basically gonna make sure that all the devices are operating properly. When you do room adapt, it also does room check in it, so you don't have to do both separately. Finally, if you look at the bottom right, we have this grid, and this grid actually lets us see what that room layout is. It's a useful tool in case you have many, many rooms in the organization, and let's say you're an IT professional and you don't necessarily remember what each room looks like. So to do that, make sure to just click on edit room layout and it's gonna allow you to draw that room up. Another cool feature about this little room design grid when you do the layout is you can actually run room test in it and that's gonna allow you to see the actual heat map of the room coverage. So it's just another nifty tool that I highly recommend to do but you don't have to do it. Now this is a good point to talk about security. We actually added an important security feature to the STEM audio platform. Whenever you bring in a STEM Audio endpoint and you plug it into your network, the first thing every STEM Audio device does is it scans that network and sees if there is any other STEM Audio devices on that network. If it doesn't find any devices, it's gonna for the first time actually prompt you to give an organization name and to choose a password. That's completely normal. It's only gonna ask you to do this for the first device that you put on your network. Please go ahead and do that, and please do not forget that password. You're gonna to need to use that password for every subsequent STEM audio device that you add into the room. The second device you're gonna add into the network is gonna see that there's another device. It's gonna ask you to authenticate that password, and then so on and so forth, every other device that you add on. If you cannot authenticate that password, a STEM audio device will actually not agree to sit on that network and will tell you that you need to unplug it and bring it into a different network where it's the first and only device, and then it's gonna repeat that process and ask you to create a password. So this basically prevents an individual who's not authorized by you and doesn't have access to that password to add a STEM audio device into your network. Pretty straightforward, and it's just another level of security that we thought was important for you to have. That's it, pretty easy, doesn't take more than that. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.